what is going on Nuggets family it's your boy Arl Nuggets here to come at you with a special video slash special podcast on this Christmas day I want to wish everyone a very Merry Christmas I hope everyone's safe and everyone enjoys the time being with your family because it is a tough time with COVID and it was one thing that COVID t- taught me at least well not COVID but um well COVID, COVID too but 2020 just you know just be careful what we have because I mean a lot of families were lost to this uh pandemic and you know I guess a lot of us got like say gotta be grateful and lucky to you know Ray would still you know celebrate with some, with some of our loved ones so I mean you, you just have to you know be grateful what you have man like that's that's what 2020 really really taught me in the end but I don't want to get all sad and moby about this but it's gonna be a Christmas special video and it's gonna be you know now I did I did talk about this before on my podcast but I didn't really get like thoroughly deep down and thoroughly like a talk about this I was just like I felt as I was like I was kind of in a rush to talk about because we, we want to get on topic so I'm just gonna start off right here so this type of video is you know and you, you know you know I mean I like video games stuff like that so my thing is you know with this topic you know what was your favorite video game that you got as a Christmas gift you know what I'm saying like me I always got as a kid growing up I was always got games majority of the time so it was always but it was always you know video games video games video games video games video game games so I remember one time I don't know how it was at the time but you know I remember when I had my Sega, I had like, you know, I had a, I got like almost everything I wanted. Well, just, I want to say everything I wanted, but like when I wrote the letter to Santa, I wanted a Toy Story um, Sega game when Toy Story was popular at the time. Um, well, still is. Um, Power Rangers Sega game. There was a, a couple other Sega games that I got, but I remember, I remember those two. Well, X-Men, I got X-Men 2 Clone Wars. All good games. The Toy Story game, I never finished. That game was like, was difficult as hell. The Power Rangers game I love. I played <laughs> I played that game almost all the time. Every morning. Um and the uh what was it? The X-Men Clone Wars, man. I didn't I, I couldn't beat the finish that game, game I couldn't beat that game as a kid, but like as I got older, I was probably like, you know, uh, eleven uh was that eleven? Yeah, I was eleven. I managed to finish the game finally. I'm like, yes! Finally just the um, um beat that game, man. It was difficult as hell. Remember that? Um the town sixty four, nineteen I believe it came out in nineteen ninety seven. Correct me if I'm wrong. Let, let, let me let's check on this. When did Nintendo 64 release date? No, no, that was 96. But 96, 97, you, you know, like one of, one of those two. That, I mean, if you look at the memes, the video, and you see like people, Nintendo 64! Now, I'll admit, getting into Nintendo 64, Nintendo 64 was a huge like a huge thing for me like that that was just awesome like it was definitely during the times you know we're at um you go to walmart you see the games there you have like a chore there and they'll ha- have one game that's available for people to play they had uh super mario 64 which i never owned that game i bought it from a couple of people and 64 uh actually for mario kart another game i didn't own i bought it from friends um <coughs> what else was that at the, at, at the time Diddy Kong Racing came. I think that was at, it was after Mario Kart 64, but that Diddy Kong, uh, not Diddy Kong, sorry, uh, Diddy Kong Racing was available. You know, at a, a bunch of um, places to play. Like it was like N64 was the game. You know, so you know it was like you know the first um, since the Nintendo to go into 3D graphics. So I love getting into Nintendo 64. Like it was, it, it was amazing. Like uh, the impact for that that did that, that, that game did for me was just you know what well, game and system was just amazing. Um, now I'm gonna I'm gonna hop forward to the Wii. That was a nut. Well, technically I got that game on uh, the uh, Thanksgiving break, but I couldn't play it until until uh, Christmas. So it was kind of like a Christmas game, and it kind of wasn't. So and that's why I'm like I'm. I, I mean I'm gonna put it there, but like you know, the Wii was a great system. Don't get me wrong. Like it was the first you know system that I know that I really got families involved. Especially my friend Jesse. Yeah, I've seen Jesse. He's been on the podcast. He's been on the games with me a bunch of times. As we were little, his family hated us playing video games. But as soon as they got the Wii, his mom was obsessed over the Wii bullet. She wanted she wanted the uh the golden ball so bad. I never I need to ask her if she ever actually finished getting that golden ball. I need I need to ask her that. Like that I need I need I really need to ask her that because oh my gosh, she was all about that, but that was a very impactful system. Even my aunt and my uncle, like who came over, they would enjoy it too. So the Wii was a great system, and another impact that it had on me. But 
I feel so the biggest impact gift that I got was the Nintendo GameCube. Now, I, now, I remember like it was like I said, it was available at a uh, Walmart. Um, I, I think we were playing Luigi's Mansion. There's a trailer, of Smash Brothers, <laughs> and I'm like, oh my god. Now, I played the first. Uh, I mean, Smash Brothers Melee, obviously. I played the first Smash Brothers. And uh, excuse me, I might bring him right here. <laughs> but uh, I played the first one, and I enjoyed it. Didn't own it, but I definitely enjoyed it. And then when I saw the, the trailer for Melee, I was like, I need to get that game. I need it. I need it. I need. It. I, tr I saw a trailer first. Then when Toys R Us was out at the time, I saw that Toys R Us as a game, as you know, playing. And I was, oh my god, I, I, oh my god, I was in love. I was love the, the, the controller. Like to this day, I just feel the Nintendo game controller is like the best controller that game that Nintendo has ever made. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, Pro Control for the Switch is good too, but like, something about the, the game controller, man. It's just, it's, a, it's a classic, man. I, I just love it. Um, I was, like I said, I was in love. The graphics were just remember from upgrade to N64 to to me to um to me it's a GameCube was just incredible. I love seeing new characters as uh Peach Bow like seeing Peach and Bowser and not at the time I didn't really know at the time Zelda and Sheik excuse me it was it was cool man it was it was amazing and you know to the mom I want a GameCube I want a GameCube I want a GameCube right and good like good move that she did was you know she. I think when it's like it was the, it was supposed to be the day after the beginning, I was like, yes, I get the Genki today. My mom's like, I couldn't get it, man. I couldn't find it. And I was mad. I was crying. Like, oh my god, I was upset. Now I did, I it, it did take me some time to get over it, right? So we're in. It's Christmas, two thousand one, uh, in New York, because every other year we go to um, get celebrate at home, or we go to uh, go to New York, right? So we go to New York. <coughs> excuse me. Go to New York and I don't have COVID. Um, we, uh, everyone's getting their gift. I opened my gift. And when I opened that gift, I got the GameCube. Like, you know how the kids were screaming saying Nintendo 64 back in um, 1996, 1997? I was, I was screaming, I got the GameCube, man. It, it, oh my God, it was one of the best feelings in the world for me. Like, oh my God, it, it like, I, like words can't explain like how happy I was that I got that system. Now that I get a GameCube, as you remember, as I mentioned on the podcast, I got the system. I got a, two controllers, two controllers. I got a memory card. Like I don't. Here's the usual thing, and, and the thing that I don't understand is like, did they get a system that had all? Of, like I can't really remember. Like I know it comes with of every every system comes with a controller, but. The fact they got an extra controller and they got a memory card, I'm not sure if the system that they got came with all of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe they were talking to somebody, they said, hey, you know, we're recommend, we recommend you get a memory card because I have to save what they did. So at the time, I was just learning about memory cards. So I know you have memory cards in, um, in, uh, on the N64, but, you know, it was like, it was in the back of the controller. I didn't really know all that stuff. I think most N64 games were like built in. Well, like, well, not in the not the system itself, but the game would save on like <laughs> excuse me, the game would be a memory card itself. So that's I'm pretty sure they had might have to talk to somebody about getting a memory card because no one known they probably wouldn't know getting a memory card. They probably wouldn't know that. But yeah, so then of course the game that I got was Smash Bros. Melee, and I'm just like, oh, and great, I couldn't play at the time because you know my grandma in New York didn't have the, t the right TV to play. And plus, you know, if everybody with everybody around there, I don't think people. Would know we'll play that we'll let us um play it so all day all christmas day i'm just like i need to get home i need to get home i need to get home and play the system like i need, I need to get home i need to get home like i just want to get home so i remember us getting home at like damn it was like late like maybe like two o'clock three o'clock in the morning you get home i'm going to bed i'm just like saying my am i saying to myself so i'll play this game so i have to play this game and i and I, I, I just didn't go to sleep. I just set up the, I just set up the system in my room. I, I, I knew how to hook up systems. Like it was the same as the, as the uh, Nintendo 64. Hooked it up. Granted, I didn't put the memory card in there, but I was playing it like for like, a, like a 30 minutes or an hour or so. And I was just like, yes, yes. And 
and from here on and from here on out you know from from um from there you know cruiser vacation was just purely smash Bros. all day why did the most was i played a lot of first mode on that game like like and then, actually no i will say in smash Bros. games I do believe that Ultimate is the best, but I feel so the biggest impact Smash Bros. did for me was Melee was the first um, Smash Bros. game that I owned. And there's something about that game that just, you know, just gravitated towards my child because, you know, new characters, like, first, like, the stages were amazing, the, the graphics, um, event matches, there, there was so much to do on that game. But most, like I said, most of the time I did, I just played first mode, first mode, first mode, first mode, and the biggest character that I was shocked to see was Mewtwo. I was going crazy when I was playing Mewtwo. I was like, oh, Mewtwo's, in, Mewtwo's in this game? What? Like, I got Mewtwo, like, all early, early on. Like, I, I forgot what, um, Mewtwo is probably, I think, it's probably the longest character, like, game and watch was, was the last character you would have to unlock, but Mewtwo would, Mewtwo would take what most people would take forever to get at him. Like, I would believe I got Mewtwo before I got Ganondorf, before I got Peach, because I wasn't really doing the event matches. Now, I was told about, you know, Ganondorf being in event matches. I was like, nah, that can't be true. And then I, when I played him in event matches with Link, I was like, oh, snap. And I also remember at the, at the time, guys, um, we didn't have social media or YouTube, you know, to spoil Ross for us. Now, granted, you could go online and possibly find, you know, how to like certain characters, but today um with uh with like you know with no with none of that you you'd be surprised like who's in this game what stages there are what you know what what you can like now granted in school people would say say oh you know the strategy guide i found this you know what i'm saying like the strategy guide would, would reveal everything but i i found like i unlocked the cat like all the characters before you know people told me the, the roster the full roster the only thing that they did tell me was you know you know, like this stage by doing this, that, and the third. So I did all that, and you know, and for now, not man. I mean, Millie's just being, you know, that game for me. That ground, I don't play this much anymore because you know, pro players are just, you know, ridiculous at that game. But that game, man, in the system itself, man, the game keep I feel still for me <coughs> was like the last. Not to say that a switch is not good, but there's just something about the game where I just, you know, like, like okay, for the Wii. After Mario Kart and Smash Brothers, it was just, you know, I'm doing wrong. There other good games came out on the Wii after that, but like, it just wasn't a whole lot. GameCube, like, almost every game was like, was like, was, was amazing. And remember, they saw that it was the PS2 and Xbox, so like, a lot of games were like, we're now like, went out to all three systems. So with the GameCube, it was just, you know, every game that I played on, not, well, not every game, but like, majority of the games I played on the GameCube, man, were just fantastic. And, you know, some of them were for the people, some of them were other for, were for other systems, but I played majority of the system exclusives, and the system exclusive exclusive for the GameCube, man, was just, just, was just, you know, amazing, you know, like I said, Smash Brothers, what else, uh, Mario Sunshine, the Mario Party games, Metroid Prime, Twilight Princess, um, uh, The Wind Waker, F-Zero, what else were some other good ones? Eternal, was it called? Was it called Eternal Darkness? Um, the, the the remake of Resident Evil. That was that was, that was on the GameCube first, and then that would that was an incredible game. And then you know you see you see you know you see it ports other systems. I mean it was a it was a it was a lot against the GameCube. I'm like losing track of like it, like it was just that system, you know. And me and Jesse, you know, played the shit out of the GameCube, son. Like it was just we literally had like no life. Like and, and anytime we go to over to his house, so. His parents would stop us. Um, we go over to my house. We just play like, play it all day. Like no one was stopping us at that point. And also, I'm not being so powerful was multi system, but you know, we had Link on that system. So on the GameCube, so you can't really beat that. So I mean, I want to say that again. I said the GameCube was just you know my biggest impact of gaming I got for my Christmas. Like it was my my favorite Christmas gift of all, of all time. Like I don't think anyone is um. I'm great, great, great. I'm great for all the other gifts that I got from like from like the year after. But like that system right there, that 2001 was just you know, you know, was just an incredible uh, year for me when it comes to the, when it comes to Christmas at least. 
And like, oh, oh, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Don't forget that game. Um, then there's a other good games, man, on the, on the GameCube, man. Like, uh, let's see. Uh, the Clash of Nature games are good. Oh, Mario Kart Double Dash. My favorite Double Dash. Now, I definitely could, you could, I think there's no argument to say that Mario Kart 8, the 8 is the best one. But my favorite one, it was uh, Double Dash. Like no, no, nobody was touching Double Dash, man. Like Double Dash was that. Was that just was that game? That's that game. Now they still did. They still need to make another Mario Kart for like a brand new Mario Kart because the eight the Lux just a, it's just an updated just a, updated game. And that's one thing about the Switch that kind of that bothers me is that you know they're porting a lot of games for the Wii U into this uh into this system, and you know it, it's kind of like getting annoying at this point. It's like it's like hey, you know. Can you make an actual? Can you make an actual game right now? Like a, like a brand new game. I'm getting tired of this whole, this whole uh, update thing. So yeah, man. Uh, that's uh, it for me when it comes to you know system. Like said, this is gonna be like a short video, so I'm like kind of in a rush to make this video too before you know I had to start setting it up, and clean, and cook. <laughs> yes, I do cook. Well, I don't cook a whole lot, but I mean, I know some recipes I can cook. So. You know, let me know what you guys think about, you know, what was your favorite uh, Christmas gift gaming wise? Um, do you get the, do you get a PS2, do you get an Xbox? Was the 360 your favorite gift? Do you remember getting your PlayStation? I, I understand a lot of people really know the PlayStation was, you know, a, was, you know, a favorite. Dreamcast was a favorite for Christmas. You know, it was a, a whole bunch of games you got were favorites. Now granted, some, some people might have gotten these games or since like a little bit like after like the uh a year after you know the um since it's released and maybe to relate to the party but it, nonetheless though like tell me what you guys think you know what's your favorite uh game and christmas gifts so like i said man that's gonna be it for today guys uh, i hope like I, said, I hope everyone has an amazing christmas y'all be safe you should be happy to get a spin with family because you know a whole lot of people don't have anyone to spend it with so always be grateful what you have you know like, like, like i said like my ending quote is, I always, I always shout out to get J. Cole when he, when he says this, is that, um, like I said, Love Yours is probably like one of my favorite J. Cole songs ever, and that was from his best album, um, 2014, For So Dry. And he said, you know, there is no no such thing as a life brand in yours, and I always say that in my videos because, you know, I believe there is, you know, just because, you know, you have all this money or whatever, doesn't mean, like, your life, like, there's, no one's life, you should never be saying, oh, my life's brand here because I got all this. It's like, no, man, you know, like, like I'm happy with what I have with my family, you know, that, and that's it. Like, like I said, there's, like I said, you can't sit here and say, oh, I can't sit here and say, you know, my life's better than yours or something like that, because you know, it, it's just, it's just wrong to say that. Like, like I, I can get to a whole different argument, <laughs> it's a whole different, um, the, the, uh, a whole different discussion on that. But like I said, there's like, nobody has a better life. I, I truly, truly believe that. I mean, granted, though, guards will be living some tough times, but you know, I mean. I'm not going to put my, myself above anybody, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's it. <laughs> like I said, it's, it's going to be a short video today, guys. I have to, like, get going and start cleaning, but, you know. As I say, guys, um, subscribe. Subscribe to the part you want to part of Knuckles family. Thumbs up if you like this video. Like I said, this is going to go on Anchor and on YouTube, so that's why I'm saying my, you know, my uh, my ending quote on this Anchor podcast. Follow me on my social media accounts, like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And, uh, and always remember to uh, follow me on my Anchor podcast as well, too, where I talk things all pop culture, video games, comic book stuff, you know, all that stuff. And honestly, oh, yeah, Wonder Woman comes out today. So the only thing is it comes out in theaters, but it's like no theaters are playing it right now. No theaters are even open, around me at least. And then, you know, do I want to get HBO Max? I really don't know about that. So uh, I'll, I'll have to look into that. But anyways, you guys, you know, guys, take care. As J. Cole said, there is no such thing as a life brand of yours. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody.